Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have yet an amazing word just for you. Remember that these words are for you. They are not for everyone else. They are for someone who's watching right about now. Especially those who are going through spiritual warfare. There is something that you need to know about your situation. That is why I have come here with this specific word for you. There is something that has been taking what belongs to you. Some of you are not aware of it. And some of you have started realizing that you have been missing out on a lot of opportunities. Some of you, just when you get into that opportunity, you realize that it has been lost. It is gone. That job, you miss it. Because there's something that has been responsible for your pain. My brothers and sisters, today's word is be careful who you choose to invite in your house. Be careful who you choose to give an invitation letter to your family, to your businesses. Because the thief seeks to steal, kill, and destroy that which is yours. So watch and pray. Be men and women who watch and pray. Pray without ceasing. This is not a time to give up. This is not a time to back down. This is not a time to let go. This is a time to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray until something happens. My brothers and sisters, today's scripture is from the book of 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 22. I'll repeat it. 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 22. And it reads, Now two women who were hallowed came to the king and stood before him. And one woman said, O oh my Lord, this woman and I dwell in the same house. And I gave birth while she was in the house. Then it happened the third day after I had given birth that this woman also gave birth. And we we together no one was with us in the house except the two of us in the house and this woman's son died in the night because she lay on him so she arose in the middle of the night and took my son from my side while you made serpent slept and laid him in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom and when i arose in the morning to nurse my son there he was dead but when i had examined him in the morning indeed he was not my son whom i had born then the other woman said no but the living one is my son and the dead one is your son and the first woman said no but the dead one is your son and the living one is my son. Thus they spoke before the king. What a powerful, powerful, amazing word. It speaks of two women. The scripture makes it clear that these two women were harlots. And they were living in the same house. They were living in the same house. And it so happened that they had children. The scripture says, and one woman... stood before him and another woman stood and said oh my lord this woman and i dwell in the same house they dwell in the same house so they had a problem so they came to the king now the woman says i gave birth while she was in the house then it happened on the third day after i had given birth that this woman also gave birth and we were together and no one they were together in the same house. One got a miracle and the other also got a miracle. But when the other got a miracle, she lost her miracle. So what she, did she do? She went ahead and replaced her dead son with 
The other one, son, some of you people have replaced what belongs to you. Counterfeit pro pro products. Some of you have had what we call miscarriages. I spoke to a woman. Uh, she told me of a story of how she had a dream. And in this dream, she had when something took her child. When she woke up in the morning, she had a miscarriage. This woman follows me. She had a miscarriage. That was a demonic entity that took her baby. I decree and declare for this woman that whatever has taken what belongs to you, it shall catch fire. You shall recover what the enemy took. God will bless you with children. I declare and decree this for you. Whoever has had miscarriages, and you are watching me right now, I speak life that the next time you will have a child that the enemy will not take what belongs to you my brothers and sisters this woman the enemy took her baby and replaced it with a dead one but this woman was so wise that she knew she knew what her baby looked like she was able to trace her child. I pray for you that you are able to trace your miracle. That you are able to identify your breakthrough. That the thief does not take what belongs to you. Remember that the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is his agenda. That is his mission. And some of you have invited an enemy in your affairs without knowing. Some of you, you have invited people into your conversations, into your life. They know all about you. They know what you're going through. But I pray that whoever has knowledge about you, whatever enemy knows about you, may they forget. I decree and declare that your enemies will forget about you. They will forget about your address. They will remember no more. All their traps that they set up, it will not work for you. My brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. Until next time, shalom.